How good are you in spotting the difference between different images? Do you do it manually? Do you do it with help? Do you use any tools? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do this. So how you can spot the difference between images by using Playwright and one or even only two lines of code. Let's get started. So we have here a site where we have different sets of images and the task at hand is to find the differences between the images. Now, what did I do? Well, I downloaded image number one and image number two and saved those images here in my project. And I installed Playwright, so I did a full normal installation so um, I chose to in install Playwright with uh, JavaScript, or better said, with uh, a new Node project. And I just made a simple test that goes to a page. And that page is the page that was going to help me to do the actual uh, comparison. So I created a small HTML page, which just takes one image. So at the moment, it takes the f this image right here. And then it takes a screenshot of the image. And let me show you how this will help. So I open the terminal. <coughs> and I start the test. And this all is built in, in Playwright. So again, you just need to do the installation. The web page you can create yourself. You can even make it more, more complicated if you want. And then you just need to call the to have screenshot. Now, since this is the first time that I run the, the test, uh, Playwright, of course, will fail. And the message is actually that it is missing a snapshot. So what it did right now, it took uh, the base image. So it took it took a screenshot of the page, and this is the screenshot which it, it's going to use to compare against in future test runs. And the hack is, I now go here to my page. So we can see here it created the screenshots of the pages, and I just need to go here and change image number one to image number two. I stop the playwright runner and I run the test again. And now what it will do, it will open the same page, so my HTML page, and it will compare what it had previously, where I had image number one, with what I have now, where I have image number two. And in case it finds any differences, it will show up in our report. And it seems it found differences. And it actually shows us, okay, we have the actual picture, we have the expected image, and we have the differences. And here are our differences. So we have one, two, three, four, parentheses, five, six, seven. And we can, in Playwright, navigate. Ah, yeah, there's a difference. So we can hover, and we see the actual and the expected. And there you have it. This was the actual solution. Give it a try with all the other images right here and write in the comments if you liked it. Now, one word of advice. Um, it's very important for the images to be of the same size. I put here this maximum pixel difference, but in case the images are of the same size, you can actually remove this and we can run the test again. And you will see we have the same results. Just a little bit of patience. It will run the tests. It will compare now again the images, or better said, yeah, the images from from uh, the web page. It will open our report, and it found the differences. Now have a look. Write in the comments uh, if you liked it or what would you do to improve this. And as always, thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye bye.